Yeah. 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 find the afternoon very special. It's a mixture of, you've got to have your input important too, because we need you to sing carols as we walk. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Full Moon, who's our lovely donkey. Hello, Full Moon. And just watch the story unfold. In order to, well, first of all, there's some, you do have some instructions, they're not difficult instructions. For the first part of this, we're going to follow Mary, Joseph and the donkey into the centre of the village where they will stop at certain hostelries to ask for accommodation for the night. At one of the hostelries, they will be given not a nice room, as you know how the story goes, but they will be led to a stable. Now, you can follow them to the stable, but at that point, when you, when you realise where the stable is, it's maybe more fun for you if you don't go inside it at that point, but then make your way over to the village hall where you'll see the angels delivering the message of good news to the shepherds. We have quite a lot of angels and quite a lot of shepherds. Um, so, so that would be nice if you could do that. And then follow them into the stable. And you'll be relieved to know that the stable is somewhere warm and dry. And then please do stay afterwards, there are refreshments which are all given, all given free, um, for you to enjoy after the whole thing is finished. But for now, in order to set the scene for the story, what if you know, need to know a little bit more about Mary and Joseph, and how they came to be in Bethlehem in the first place. Mary and Joseph were engaged to be married, when something rather strange happened to Mary, which would cause the change of their lives and history forever. Stressed beyond measure, torn between his own grief and his desire not to harm the woman he loved. Again, God revealed the wonderful identity of Mary's child, and like her, Joseph believed and was faithful. He accepted his destiny to nurture and protect his son, who was not his own, but who was entrusted to his fatherly care. By order of the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus, all men had to go and register at their place of birth for a census. This meant Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. This is their story. This is the night of the story. The one that sings in our hearts, that whispers to our spirits. This is the night of the story, the one we dare to believe, even when the prudent would doubt. This is the story of the light that sparked to life that night so long ago. It, he, hovers here among the watchers, the listeners, the prayers. The story tells itself to those who will listen. The light shows itself to those who will see. So gather now, open your ears, and hear our story. Open the eyes of your heart, look heavenward and expect the light. Wake up your sense of wonder, and worship the child who will be born for you, and me, and all the world. Listen to the angel's song.
just started. You just started. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> 